Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at oligopoly and in particular the idea of interdependent behaviour. Now an oligopoly is, a, is an, an imperfectly competitive market with a very high level of concentration. In other words, uh, the, a small number of big scale firms dominate the market. An oligopoly as a market structure is best defined by the actual decision, the day-to-day -day pricing, investment, advertising decisions of businesses within the defined market. A good example of oligopoly is the retail grocery market in the UK, dominated by the big players such as Tesco uh, and Sainsbury, Asda, Morrisons, and of course increasingly now by the likes of Aldi and Lidl, the deep discounters from Germany. Obviously lots of smaller independent shops, Waitrose in Iceland and others, but it is, it is an oligopoly. So to petrol retailing. Best described as a concentrated oligopoly dominated by vertically integrated oil companies such as Shell, alongside, of course, the major supermarkets. Uh, you can see here that the likes of uh, tech, um, Tesco, Asda, Morrison's have sizable market share. They tend to buy their oil, petrol, diesel from the wholesale market. But there you go, SA Shell, BP, and Texaco obviously dominating the industry. And a good, another good example of uh, oligopoly is the mortgage market in the UK, the retail housing mortgage market. Home loans is an oligopoly. Lloyd's is the biggest commercial bank operating in the sector. Nationwide is the biggest building society. And you can see there, lots of NatWest, HSBC and Barclays, they all have 9, 10 or more percent of the market. So those are good examples of oligopoly. And one of the features of the industry is the interdependent behaviour. Three good examples often used by example ones. Now, what does that mean? Interdependent behaviour refers to the fact that the decisions of one firm inevitably impact on the choices and the decisions of other firms in the market and vice versa. So if you take supermarkets, if Tesco's goes for a price cutting programme, decides to spend £50 million cutting prices across a range of products, perhaps expanding their club card discounts. Competitors like Sainsbury's or Asda, Aldi and Little must decide whether to match the price cut or perhaps risk losing some market share. The key thing here is that firms within this market structure must be aware, market intelligence helps, of each other's strategies and actions. So they're constantly monitoring their competitors, trying to anticipate and react accordingly. Now this interdependence is a key word to use in any exam question on oligopoly. It certainly makes the market less predictable and often more volatile than other market structures. It's harder to model in that sense. There's always a lot of uncertainty in this market structure. So interdependence can lead to market uncertainty and often Oligopolies involve game theoretic behaviour. Firms predict the potential responses of competitors before making their decisions. So a firm might launch a new product or a new brand only after considering how rivals might counteract by launching similar products or increasing marketing efforts and marketing spend. In some cases, firms may decide to engage in something called tacit collusion. And that, that uh, just means they, they often price match or align prices and market shares without any explicit, often illegal agreement. And the aim there is to maximise their joint profits. Acknowledging mutual interdependence is key word whenever you think about oligopoly. So there we go. You get a question on oligopoly, think interdependence. Very important concept. Please use it in your exams.